My name is Ken Yeager. I'm president of the Yosemite Climbing Association. In this room here is the earliest part of our collection. We start in 1875 with a spike here from the first ascent of Half Dome. Most people know it as the cable route on Half Dome. It was done by George Anderson. He hand drilled holes in the rock and put these iron spikes in the rock, tied himself to these spikes, stood on them, and drilled another hole above his head. After that, most people just scrambled around Yosemite. There was no rope work, nobody knew uh, rope techniques until Robert Underhill demonstrated those rope climbing techniques that he learned in Europe to the California climbers, in particular Richard Leonard, Jules Eichhorn from the rock climbing section of the Sierra Club. Those guys practiced those techniques by jumping off of rocks in Berkeley Hills. And after practicing those, they took these techniques to Yosemite Valley and tried them for the first time in 1933 on Labor Day weekend. We have the roster to that and all the climbers that participated in it. And that was the real start of modern climbing in Yosemite Valley. And then we have the first guidebook, which was printed in 1937 by the Sierra Club. And there were, I believe, only 100 copies made, so it's a very rare book. John Salathay, a blacksmith, is considered the grandfather of big wall climbing. He started climbing after World War II at age 46. He made the first hard steel pitons with Ford Model A axles. Salathay and Axe Nelson used these pitons to climb the Lost Arrow chimney in 1947, taking four and a half days. You can come by if you want to learn more about Yosemite climbing history. We'd be glad to talk to you about it.